Taurus. You need to know this right now for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Taurus, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So, Taurus, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you have your guard up, you just want to spend some time alone. You just want to do some heavy duty soul searching. Taurus, you can tell me that you have done some soul searching and you feel like you should keep your guard up because you don't trust this person. You could also tell me that you're doing some soul searching concerning being persistent with something here or standing your ground with something. Taurus, you have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. 
This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Taurus could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Taurus. Clarified temperance for Taurus. Clarified temperance for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument, so you cut them off, went stagnant, and walked away because you're needing to heal individually on your own. You just need some time to be alone. Taurus, you can tell me that they started a passionate new beginning. This is the reason why you cut them off and went stagnant. You're walking away and healing because you don't trust them. You just want to be by yourself. You don't trust them. You want to do some heavy-duty soul searching. But Taurus, I want to know if they cut you off. And they could have cut you off because of an argument or because you started a passionate new beginning somewhere. You guys went stagnant. But it's you wanting to return and heal things thinking that you should possibly be persistent with getting them back. Taurus, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So Taurus, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Clarify the three of cups for Taurus. Clarify the three of cups for Taurus. Clarify the three of cups for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now the high priest just keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Taurus, listen. You can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. Or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess. For Taurus. Clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, clarify the high priestess for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the king of pentacles. 
This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. But Taurus, this is you. Clarify the king of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the king of pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the king of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. It is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Taurus, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Taurus, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now Taurus, you can tell me that you're in your head, bothered on whether or not you guys are going to reunite. Yes. Taurus, you can tell me that some type of secret came out. You guys had a heated discussion, an argument, and maybe you stood your ground with this. And you're not speaking to this person, so you're worried about whether or not you guys are going to reunite here. Taurus, you could also tell me that a secret came out because we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion with a third party. The thing is, Taurus, I don't know if it was your secret, something that you were guarding, Taurus, and maybe you're wanting to come back and heal things with this person. Or you're finding out that they had a third party because you found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion. And right now, you're not talking to them. You just want to be alone. Taurus, you have the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Taurus, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Now Taurus, they could be trying to apologize to you when you're at a crossroads on should you, shouldn't you reunite and come back. Or Taurus, you're at a crossroads trying to decide should you, shouldn't you come in and apologize here. Taurus, you have the Queen of Swords again. So like I said, it could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. 
could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death for Taurus. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Taurus, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Taurus, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, and it changed everything between you guys. And you're in your head thinking here, debating, contemplating, doing some soul searching on whether or not you want to just cut them off and end things because everything between you guys has changed. However, Taurus, you could also tell me that, yes, there was a cutting off, but someone wants to start new after an ending. Someone wants to reunite here. And you can tell me that, you know what, I just need some time to think. I just, I need some time to think about whether or not I want to. And I feel like this is why you took a time out here, Taurus, to think. And you're a little hesitant to move on whether or not to reunite with this person. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Taurus. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I'm making big changes in my life. I'm making big changes in my life. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Taurus. And it says, I replay our conversations over and over. I replay our conversations over and over. Taurus, you need to know this right now for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next week peace